Have you been asked to calculate the average price that shares have been issued at, and you have no idea how to do that? Well, you've come to the right place because I'm Professor Capco, and I'm going to make that super easy for you in today's video. We've got a real short one for you. So I just want to mention before we get into it that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now back to the video. In this question here, we are told that we have common stock without par value and 4,700,000 shares have been authorized, 805,000 shares have been issued, and 650,000 shares are outstanding. The common stock entry is for $2,600,000. What is the average price at which the shares were issued. First of all, if you don't know what is meant by par value or how that's accounted for, I've got a video that I've linked up here. You may want to take a look at that after this video. All right, let's dig into this a little bit, but if you find that accounting is confusing and difficult, then give this video a thumbs up so I'll know to make more videos to make it clear to you. All right, in this one, we need to figure out the average price of the shares. Well, we know that the amount that, the total amount that they're issued for is the 2,600,000. The main trick to this question is what number of shares do we divide by if we want a price per share? Well, we have the 4,700,000 shares that are authorized. That means that the board of directors have decided that that's the total number of shares that can be issued. That does not mean that they have been issued. It just means that they, they can be issued. We have issued 805,000 shares. And of that, only 650,000 shares are outstanding. That means that some of the shares have been bought back and are in treasury shares. I've gotten some videos on that I've done on treasury shares and one of them is linked up here. For purposes of this calculation, all we need to look at is the number of shares that have been issued. And that would be the 805,000 shares. So it becomes just a simple division problem. We have the 200, $2,600,000 dollars, and we're going to divide it by the 805,000 shares that were issued because they were initially issued, and that gives us a total of $3.22,9814. We're going to round that to $3.23. That is the average price per share at which they were issued. If you have any other questions about this, go ahead and put it down in the comments down below. And now you know a little bit about calculating the average price of issuance, but there's a lot more to know. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Thank you.